from 0 to infinity of e raised to power 2 a s minus x squared is equal to 1 over 2 root pi e raised to power a squared. Solution. Solution. I have integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to power 2 a s minus x squared ds. I notice something that uh, what I have here if I factorize minus if I factorize minus I will have integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to the power of minus I will have s squared minus 2as ds so I will make sure this is a perfect square this is s squared minus 2as let me add a square and subtract it back to make it a perfect square. I will have integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to the power of minus s square minus 2as. Add a square, then subtract it back so that you don't change the question. So I have added a square and I have subtracted a square. So I will remove this outside, I will take this outside the bracket so that I will have. Integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to the power of minus s squared minus 2as plus a squared minus by minus plus a squared. Yes, you can say I have taken this negative a outside the bracket. So for me to be able to take it out, the sign here will multiply it minus by minus a plus a squared. So I have um, this one will now be integral from 0 to infinity. E raised to the power of minus s square minus 2a s plus a square without loss of generality. This one will be s minus a all square. Just if you expand this, you will get exactly this. Multiply by this is plus e raised to the power a square. Yes, that is from indices. Don't forget a raised to the power n multiplied by a raised to the power n gives a raised to the power n plus n. So you want to, when you have a raised to power n plus n, you can also separate it to a raised to power n multiplied by a raised to power n. So that is why I have this. So the lesson that will happen is this is a constant, it does not have any x. Bring it out. Bring it out. This one will become e raised to the power of a squared integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to the power of minus x minus a all squared dx so the last thing to do is I will let let t be equal to x minus a when you let it to be equal to x minus a make s the subject of formula s will be equal to t plus a s will be equal to t plus a right let it be equal to s minus a st will be equal to s minus a so if you make it the subject s the subject i will have t plus a so the s is equal to what the t when you differentiate the s will be equal to the t so i will have a e raised to power a squared now when s is zero when s is zero t is what minus a when s is infinity t is also infinity so i will have this to be e raised to the power of minus minus t squared dt e raised to the power of minus d squared dt so t i think there's something wrong somewhere Oh, I think here is supposed to be a because that must give me a gamma function. This is supposed to be a. This is supposed to be a. It's, you should start from a to infinity. This is supposed to be a. 
a a this third polynistic a a so this is what we have now now look at this again so when x is a t will be a minus a that will be zero and when x is infinity infinity minus a will still be infinity so t will be infinity so that's what i have don't forget i told you to recall this to note this when i was proving gamma function of e raised power minus t square i told you to recall that uh, to note rather so recall that The integral from negative infinity to infinity of t squared is equal to, of the t is equal to gamma of 1 over 2 over 2. That's what we are going to have if you can recall very well. So this one is actually equal to root by over 2. So that means that uh, the question we have been solving this is e raised to power a squared integral from. So this integral from 0 to infinity of e, e of minus t squared, the t is, let me write it well, I have an integral from a to infinity of e raised to power 2a s minus s squared ds is equal to, this is e raised to power a squared, you know, this is where we have solved, we have solved to this part, e raised to power a squared multiplied by root by over 2, so that's what we have here. So the answer 1 over 2 root by e raised to the power a squared. That is for the sixth question. Number 7. Number 7. We want to prove that gamma of minus n plus 1 over 2 is equal to minus 1 raised to the power n 2 raised to the power n root pi all over 1 dot 3 dot 5 dot so you get to 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 so this is what we have on solution In this case, gamma of 1 over 2 What I'm using here or what I'm going to use here is gamma of x is equal to s minus 1 gamma of s minus 1 This is what I'm using here gamma of x equal s minus 1 gamma of s minus 1 so in this case that means that gamma of 1 over 2 that means that gamma of 1 over 2 gamma of 1 over 2 is equal to minus 1 over 2 gamma of minus 1 over 2 that was 1 over 2 minus 1 multiplied by gamma of minus 1 over 2 but I will continue like that Multiply by minus 3 over 2, minus 5 over 2, till you get to 1 over 2 minus n, gamma of 1 over 2 minus n. So you come to this one, till you get to this 1 over 2 minus n, gamma of minus 1, 1 over 2 minus n. So uh, we have um, gamma of 1 over 2. You can see negative, minus throughout. This is minus. So I will have um, I will so I will bring out all the negative. They are n. If you can't all this in, they are n. So I will have minus 1 raised to power n. Minus 1 raised to power n. Then all over all these tools as well, or before I bring out the two, this one will now be 1 over 2 dot 3 over 2 dot 5 over 2 till I get to this place. This one too will be n 
minus 1 over 2. But let me find the LCM. This one will now be 2n minus 1 over 2 gamma of 1 over 2 minus n. So, make gamma of, or before I do that, gamma of 1 over 2 is square root of pi. Root pi is equal to minus 1 over 3 power n multiplied by 1, 3, 5, you get to 2n minus 1. All over the same thing happens to 2. 2n two, times, 2 times, 2 times, 2 n times. So I'll give me 2 raised to power n. Then I'll be left with gamma of minus n plus 1 over 2. 1 over 2 minus n is the same thing as minus n plus 1 over 2. So bring this one here. Bring this here and take this one too to the other side. Or make gamma of 1 minus n plus 1 over 2 the subject of formula. It means that I will have gamma of minus n plus 1 over 2 to be equal to 2 raised to the power n root pi all over minus 1 raised to the power n multiplied by 1 dot 3 dot 5 you get to 2n minus 1. So you get to 2n minus 1. So this minus 1 raised to the power n can come up. It does, not, it does not mean our right raised to the power minus n because it's minus 1. It's still the same thing. It can come, it can be at the denominator, it can be at the numerator. It does not get affect, affected. The value is still the same. So I have the gamma of minus n plus 1 over 2 to be equal to minus 1 raised to the power n, 2 raised to the power n, square root of 5 over 1 dot 3 dot 5, so you get to 2n minus 1. So that's what I'm going to have here, that's what I have here actually, as you can see. This minus, you might be surprised, or be thinking that this minus 1 raised to the power n how does it come up without having a negative and a power? I, I have told you before that it is the same. Or let me just give you a, a proof. Look at, look at this thing. Minus 1 raised to the power 2n is always 1. No matter the value of n because this is positive. This is even. This one is minus 1 squared multiplied by, multiplied by um, n. Uh, this power n. So this is always 1. It's always for n. So divide both sides by divide both side by minus 1 raised to the power n. Minus 1 raised to the power n. This one will this one will be minus 1 raised to the power n. This one will be minus 1 raised to the power minus n. So that means minus 1 raised to the power n is equal to minus 1 raised to the power of minus n. So that's why this one can come up to be equal. So even though you took it, you bring it up to become minus 1 raised to the power of minus n. It's still the same thing as minus 1 raised to the power n. So that is the answer to that question. So let me extend this number 10. Let me extend this question 10. They said borrow gamma of n Gamma of n plus 1 over 2 equal root 5 over 3 is power 2n minus 1. Uh, gamma of 2n. Why is it that this one gamma of p, gamma of 1 minus p is equal to pi over sine p, pi, where is already said that p less than 1. Why I put borrow here is because I have not yet introduced you to these two things and they are very important. They are paramount when dealing with beta and gamma function. The first one is called duplication formula. The second one is also very important to evaluate gamma functions. So now, express 1 over 6 in terms of this. So using these two above, we want to express gamma of 1 over 6 in terms of gamma of 1 over 2. So the first thing is, from this first one, let n be 1 over 6. And when n is 1 over 6, what happens? This one will be gamma of 1 over 6. Gamma of 1 over 6 plus 1 over 2. Gamma of 1 over 6 plus 1 over 2 is equal to root 5 all over 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 minus 1. 
This n is 1 over 3. So 2 times 1 over 6 will give you 1 over 3 minus 1. Gamma of 2 times 1 over 6 will also give me gamma of 1 over 3. So I have gamma of 1 over 6. Gamma of 1 over 6 plus 1 over 2. 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. So I have gamma of 1 over 6. Gamma of 2 over 3 equal to square root of 5. 2 raised to the power of minus 2 over 3. Gamma of 1 over 3. That's what I have. So gamma of 1 over 6. Gamma of 2 over 3 is equal to. These 2 raised to the power of minus 2 over 3 can come up. When it comes up, it becomes 2 raised to the power of 2 over 3. Then root 5, gamma of 1 over 3. So let me be equal. You will not come and stop here. I call it 1. You will not come to this second one. You come to the second one and put p to the 1 over 3. And put p to the 1 over 3. So I have gamma of 1 over 3, gamma of 1 minus 1 over 3. That's gamma of 1 over 3, gamma of 2 over 3. Is equal to pi over sine 1 over 3 pi or 5 over 3 sine 5 over 3 that's sine 60. Sine 60 will give me root 3 over 2. So if you put root 3 over 2 here, this one will be equal to pi all over root 3 over 2. By the time you simplify this, you will get 2 pi. This will become common. You get 2 pi all over root 3. This is 2. You will have 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2. Equation 1 divided by equation 2. So this is equation 1. Gamma of 1 over 2. Gamma of 2 over 3. That's it at the numerator. This is equation 2. Gamma of 1 over 3. Gamma of 2 over 3. That's it at the numerator. Gamma of 1 over 3. Gamma of 2 over 3. Is equal to this one. 2 raised to the power 2 over 3. 2 raised to the power 2 over 3. Root pi. Gamma of 1 over 3. All over the denominator is 2 pi, 2 pi, then this one, this one will come up to it, become 3 raised to the power of minus 1 over 2. So, gamma of 2 over 3 cancel each other. Gamma of 2 over 3 cancel gamma of 2 over 3. I have gamma of 1 over 6, gamma of 1.